Josh, Metro First Realty of Edmond, thank you so much for visiting with me on our 13th sold property for 2019. And don't buy Zillow leads, just work your listings. Work your listings. All right. Just got a lead off my own website. That's another thing I want to talk about tonight. You guys, you don't need to buy leads from people. And, I'll, and I'll, we'll go over that to, tonight as soon as I cancel out this contract. Get the jack loaded up. <laughs> so let's uh, put you on the car mount so that we can talk about Zillow and why would you give your competitors money? All right. I got everything. Let me make sure my phone noise is on. Oh, we're gonna make a call to one of my investors as soon as I get up on the road. Uh, once I get to 177, I'll be able to call them because I don't want it to cut out while we're, um, while I'm talking to him, so I'm gonna call him right now. Oh, and if you're in Oklahoma and you're looking for a transaction coordinator, Paula Marshall is taking on customers right now. I would definitely recommend getting on her list ASAP. Amazing transaction coordinator. She's taking customers right now. As soon as I found that out, I jumped on that list immediately. So I've got her handling my transactions now once I get them pending, so. I really hope this thing isn't shaking too bad. Um, I'm on a gravel road right now, so, and I haven't had a chance to talk to this customer really all week. Sunday, today's Sunday, great day, great day. I cannot tell you, like if you're, in real estate in Oklahoma and you're looking for a transaction coordinator, you have to call Paula Marshall immediately and see if she's taking on more customers. She is currently, as far as I know, but uh, it was so awesome being able to get on her list. I've already sent her four things and she's got them squared away. She's like super efficient, super fast, just amazing. Um, I don't get any money from recommending her or anything like that. I'm just saying, if you need a transaction coordinator, it is 100% worth it having her work in your transactions. My email inbox only has 21 emails in it right now. Five are bills, so that's really only 16 uh, accounts payable bills. People owe me money, not me owing people money. I get my bills paid ASAP. Um, so really 16 emails, two are listing lead follow-ups that I got last week from an investor agent uh, of mine. I pay him a referral. He sends me retail real estate customers that need to sell their house on the MLS, on the open market. So that's 14 emails. One's a buyer lead, but they're looking for a needle in a haystack. And then one's another listing lead that's not gonna sell anytime soon, but I do need to follow up on them. So, really I just got 12 emails in my inbox. That's awesome. Okay, we're up to speed now. Okay, um, ah, I meant to turn down Lake Road. Poof, I just cost myself three more minutes. So, um, let me cancel this lady's contract. That's what I need to do real quick. So. Just got a lead off my own website. That's another thing I want to talk about tonight. You guys, you don't need to buy leads from people. And, I'll, and I'll, we'll go over that tonight as soon as I cancel out this contract. I probably get four leads a day at least. And I don't pay Zillow and I don't pay Realtor.com or Trulia. I don't pay anyone for leads. And that, 
that's what we need to talk about. Because if you're a good real estate agent and you're working your listings correctly, you're going to get a ton of leads. Uh oh, we're at a stop sign waiting for people to go. Okay, now it's my turn. Busy stop sign tonight. Crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, wonderful. This is great news. Um, my builder today called me up. He's like, hey, Josh. Got a contract today. My seller called my one of my uh, builders called me this morning immediately, and they were all like, "Hey, um, I want to write an offer. Buy these two lots." Like, you know, God just blesses you with business, and that was definitely a blessing. So, me, Tracy, and our transaction coordinator all got a deal, and our builder just called us and asked us to write it up. So that's that's a blessing, guys. That's. That was just a relationship that I've had for a long time and he wanted to put the deal together and he called me. The guy knows hundreds of, if not thousands of agents, but he gave it to me and my team. So just super thankful for that. So now supposed to be working it that that contact just reached out to me and they need to call them ASAP because the contacts need to have the relationship with the agents that I assigned to them not me I'm the marketer I'm the lead generator in the back office getting the business they're out there working the business to close it uh, as far as buyers go on listings 75% of the listings I lead up all those but that's only because I enjoy it I'm actually working myself out of that even so that I can spend more time with my family green for me oh man we got kids on the corner kids on the corner I love kids on the corner. It's so funny. You guys, um, fast times at Piedm Piedmont High or something, and then uh, and then also Jay and Silent Bob. And whenever I see kids on the corner, that's what I always think about. Okay. had billboards before guys and they make you zero money so when I see agents with billboards it just doesn't click in my head like I, I track all my leads 80% I track 80% of all my leads and so when I see someone wasting money on something I 
just, I just laugh. Like, I really hope they're tracking the results of that billboard. Because I just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that they are. Because if they are, they wouldn't be spending money on it. Speaking about lead resources, lead sources and spending money. So, um, did you hear Zillow? Who's always said they're not getting in the real estate industry, that they're gonna start buying houses and selling houses, that they project $20 billion for buying houses and selling houses. Agents make Zillow $2 billion, okay, $2 billion. Now, the average agent in Oklahoma, I think, is spending anywhere between five and a thousand dollars on Zillow. And I think the big time agents are spending two thousand to five thousand dollars on Zillow to buy an inquiry on a listing that's not even theirs. They're not even a listing agent, like they don't even know anything about it. So when a consumer clicks the contact agent on Zillow, they're talking to someone who doesn't know jack about that property. So the, the consumer's already getting a disservice there. So, uh, so, so like take, take my, my marketing budget per month. I spend $150 on my CRM, I spend $112 on my website. So that's 262. I probably spend two hundred dollars on postage. So there's four sixty-two. What else do I spend money on? Oh, uh, Facebook ads and hmm, Google display ads. So let's say two hundred on each of those. So what's that come out to? Eight. 62 so let's say 862 to a thousand dollars a month that's what I spend on advertising and that is is what generates four leads a day so four times 30 is 120 so what is a thousand divided by 120 $0.33 a lead is what I'm, I'm spending my marketing dollars on. $8.33 a lead. Okay, so let's break that down even further. So let's say the average agent is spending $500 a month on Zillow and they get four leads in one month. Let's say they get 10 leads in one month. They're spending $50 a lead that's not just going to them. Okay, on Zillow, if you don't pick up your phone as an agent, they send that lead to the next agent. Okay, you don't even get to keep it. So if you're only getting, and 10, I'm, I'm giving Zillow way too much credit. Zillow does not give people 10 leads a month. I know agents spending $2,500 a month with them and getting four leads a month, okay? They're not giving agents leads anymore. They're in the home buying and home selling business now, okay? They're talking to those leads first. They're giving agents crap leads. Zillow's giving agents crap leads now because Zillow wants to buy their house first and then they'll figure it out what they're gonna do with that lead afterwards. But, uh, so you don't, so do you need my Google Display Network? No. Do you need my Facebook ads? No. Do you need my mail outs that I do? No. So there's $600 off. So a website is super helpful and a CRM is super helpful. So 262 is really all you need a month to get the same results. What I do at my display network, that is so weird. That, there are some interesting listings out in Lincoln County. There definitely are. Lincoln County has no zoning regulations. None. So the only people 
watching over Lincoln County are the cities, if you're in the city limits, and then state regulation authorities, uh, state regulation authorities like DEQ and things like that. Very interesting county. So, um, there's only 36,000 rooftops in Lincoln County too. To scale that out, there's over 94,000 rooftops in uh, Edmond, just Edmond. So, that's, that's interesting. So, summary of the story, you don't need to buy leads from Zillow. All you have to do is, when you take a lead, market it correctly. Add it to Craigslist. Add it to Facebook. Share it. You know? Um, you know, call people around the house. Circle dial around the house and say, Hey, do you know anyone looking for a house like this? You'll pick up more business from that. You don't need... And if you just do that, if you just circle dial one hour a day, that's 500 to 600 calls a week. You're going to pick up more business off that. You'll find a buyer for that house potentially, but you'll also find other people that want to sell and other people that want to buy. And, and you're not paying $50 a lead. You're paying $8.33 a lead or even less, even less. If all you had was a dialer and a website and you're getting 120 leads a month, your cost per lead in that instance uh, 262, 262 divided by 120. Your cost per lead is two dollars and eighteen cents a lead in that instance. Come on, people. I mean, that's a no-brainer. No-brainer, right there. All right. Well, I'm pulling up here to grab these signs. I'm gonna flip you over so you can watch me use the uh, the uh, jack to get these things out. Oh, it looks like the sellers might be here, but they're little truck interesting these sellers are great you guys are gonna love them you've already met them once before all right let me pull over here and get this sign out of the ground looks like they've started taking down the tower too that's good i'm just gonna leave the car running because i want to keep my phone charging I really hope that I don't have to use the jack. That's the goal. But I brought it in case I do. That lost you there. Huh, man. Okay, let's go get the sign. This is good stuff. All right, let's hope the others come out just as easy. Whew, I'm not hooking you up to the car on the way over there. Uh, and I got my trunk open still. See that? That's funny. I didn't mean to do that, but it's not going to hurt anything. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. People are spending $50 or more on a lead off Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, stuff like this. Whereas 
if you just market your listings correctly, and if you don't have listings, use HUD's listings. HUD allows any agent to market their listings, not just the listing agent. The listing agent has exclusive MLS listing authority with HUD. They do not have um, a full-blown exclusive on it. They HUD allows agents to market their listings. So just keep that in mind. Okay, let's spin you around on this one. Hopefully this one's just as easy. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready for your new neighbors? They'll be here tomorrow. They're signing tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we didn't have to use the jack. So happy about that. Whew. Okay, let's go get the lockbox. To do that, gotta use my phone. Oh man, make sure your Bluetooth is on and your location setting is on. One time I didn't have my location setting on, it took me 30 minutes to get in the house. 30 minutes. That was, that was super annoying. Okay, so right here, turn you on. Okay, so as you can see, here's the screen. Okay, I want to first get the key out. So I'm gonna put in my pin, and then it automatically starts connecting, but you've gotta push the bottom of the lock box up right there you got to push that up and see how it's beeping now so now you got these two going and now it says open up see it's open okay and the other agent already took the key i should have remembered that i told her to take the key she already took the key so now let's just take it off so to take it off you click the open shackle button and put in your shackle pin ask you for a reason I just always select none of the above and then click begin and then push the bottom of it again to make it start talking to each other and see how it's talking right now see how it says connecting to the box right there it should have already connected might have to do this one again Oh, that did a double blink. Don't know what that means. So I click the bottom of it again. And it still says connecting to the box. Opening shackle. Okay, see it says success. Now you just push down on the bottom of this, the top, and it slides right off. See how it slid off the top of it? 
slides off and then you put it back on okay done all right and here's what shows up on it when you take it off and then tomorrow 10 a.m we'll close this one so god bless us with another deal number 13 for the year so okay we're gonna put this in the car and get out of here and go to walmart and uh get some stuff from walmart but that's it for the day everybody really appreciate you coming with me i'm picking up these signs and seeing the 13th closing of ours for the year uh that's it you guys have a great night give it a big thumbs up share it to all your friends i'll break this down to all sorts of different videos too as far as like helping people lock boxes picking up signs stuff like that all right guys have a great day josh metro first really vedman thank you so much for visiting with me on our 13th sold property for 2019. Have a great day and don't buy Zillow leads. Just work your listings, work your listings. All right guys, have a good one.